Hey, how's it going, everyone? I was recently asked a question about the power switch on this uh, Eufy 11S, which is actually probably similar to other Eufy models. Um, apparently, there is a large number of these switches failing, and I had one commenter say that he was able to spray some lubricant into the switch and got it to successfully operate. So I decided to um, see what's involved in getting the switch out. Uh, the question that was asked was how do you get it apart to get to the switch? Well I found that the switch actually comes out pretty easily without having to disassemble anything at all. So the first thing you'll want to do is remove the battery. That'll ensure that when you take these wires loose, you won't accidentally short them to anything internal to the vacuum cleaner. I don't have the right screwdriver, so it's taking a little bit of work to get it out. All right. The battery is just retained. There's a locking tab. Always remember, remove watches and rings. Okay, now it's best if you have, if you can get two small standard flat blade screwdrivers. In this case, um, I was able to get it out with just the one. And basically you just gotta work each side out pops right out as you can see here. This is a, a single pole, single throw switch. It's a fairly standard size. Just for grins, we'll take a couple of measurements. So it looks like we're at 16.92 millimeters wide by 12.1 millimeters depth. I'm sorry, thickness and depth is Approximately, well, let's do this right. Looks like we're about 12.05 millimeters deep. The whole size. Nineteen point one one millimeters long. By about thirteen millimeters wide. So as long as you look for those numbers when you're looking for a replacement switch, you should be all right. Um, just a simple two wires soldered in and I will uh, let's see the uh, manufacturer of the switch is Legion it's rated at uh, looks like 
looks like 12 amps. It's a model SS11. And uh, I'll get some close-ups of the switch and post it at the end of this video. Alternatively, but not recommended, is to basically bypass the switch. So either solder a wire across the terminals or unsolder the wires and solder and twist them together. Make sure you tape them together, but only as a temporary solution because this switch disconnects UV from battery power. So if something were to happen with the battery, say it catches fire, you're going to want a quick way to be able to shut that off. And without a switch, you're not going to be able to do that. So I do not recommend bypassing. Now if you need a new switch, I highly recommend DigiKey. I was able to find a close match to the switch. This is their part number. It was 92 cents and about five dollars to ship, which isn't a bad price. You can see that it's black instead of red, but it functions the same. The only other difference is the terminals are turned about 90 degrees different than this one, which again makes no difference. There's plenty of room on the inside for any configuration you can find. The important part is getting the dimensions correct. Now, these terminals are soldered on. If your soldering skills aren't up to par, you can always use these uh, a stay con or spade connectors and crimp them onto these wires but soldering is always the best bet all right I'm gonna go ahead and unsolder these trustee Weller now there's a chance that you'll lose these wires on the inside. So be careful not to let them go. Looks like on these all they did was push the wire through and soldered it so they didn't wrap it or anything which can make it more difficult to desolder. In this case polarity is not important but if you wanted to solder it back in similar to the original way the uh, circle or off side had the red wire on it. I'm going to pre tin the new switch. Don't need a whole lot. Sometimes it helps to have an extra set of hands, but otherwise you gotta make do with what you got.
not sure if this battery is fully charged. We can do a quick check. We'll switch it to the off position. Plug the battery back in. And we'll see if it powers on. And looks like we're good there, so. We can go ahead and push the switch in. Just make sure you match up the off and on with the off and on the switch. If you flip it the other way, it doesn't really matter, but it can get confusing to whoever's operating. Let's push it in. And voila. New switch installed ready to go and just to note i did check on some of the other model eufy's that i have and they pretty much all use the same size switch and once we are all back together Install the battery cover. Once it's all complete, you're ready to rock and roll. Um, I hope this has helped you out. Um, I really appreciate all the comments and suggestions so far. Uh, if you like my videos and they're able to help you out, please comment, please like, and please subscribe. Thank you very much.